Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to start a let's build. Uh, if you're not sure what a let's build is, it's basically I'm going to build something in real time and leave it to the comments for feedback and then we will readdress it in the next part and it'll be a couple of parts, like two, three parts probably. And I asked you guys in a video recently and on my community tab for some suggestions and we're going to be building a bakery. So I'm really excited about that. I don't know if I've ever built a bakery on the channel. I'm pretty sure I've done them like as parts of like larger creations like a mall and things like that a long time ago on stream. But I don't know if I've ever built a bakery so I really liked that idea and I kind of wanted to go for that classic look of like a downtown bakery. So sort of like this shape if that makes sense. So I think we're gonna start with something like this. Fairly symmetrical probably. So let's extend this out here. I also got a lot of suggestions for a bakery or a flower shop that had a apartment above it. So I think we're gonna do that. Let's see if this is symmetric. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. All right, let's extend that out, duplicate this and put it on the top level. Okay, I think maybe like a trim between them could make that look nice. And I think I'm gonna have a staircase going up on the outside probably to get us to the top level for where your sims would go if they uh, do live up there. On second though, maybe not because it's getting rid of the trim. I know at one point they fixed this problem, but then it came back. So maybe that'll be on the inside. Uh, but let's get started on the front of this. I know we got some good stuff from get to work that could look nice for this space. We have this on the medium wall height, so hmm. I really wish this door fit in the middle here because that would be perfect. I guess I could extend it out or make it more narrow. I think I'm going to try and extend it out. That's what we're going to do. So bring this out this way and then it has to go back one, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh no. Yeah. Back one like this. I think <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Okay. I think that works. So we're going to just duplicate it again and get back to where we were starting at before so we can get that roof trim or this, uh, what is this technically called? Exterior trim, because I really like having a door centered there and I think that would work really well. Let's see what windows we got from get to work. Um, I was kind of thinking these, but these are the short wall height. We could try it. We'll have to switch out the door and stuff. Um, Let's go back to the short wall height here and see how I feel about these because I do really like the idea of this corner bakery with like big windows like this. I think that's kind of fun. Um, those don't match in height. Interesting. Interesting. You would think that they would have made these to match. That's fine though. I think maybe it's better on the sides like that. Yeah. All right. Let's look at the two wide doors that came with get to work and then also see what else there was. I think this is the match. Oh, that looks so nice on a diagonal. It gets little windows. I like that. I like that a lot. I don't know if I want to go for like a black theme here that, ooh, blue, brown, green. We could go for a little funky bakery. That could be kind of fun. I kind of like the blue though. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I feel like I kind of want to anchor it. So, Maybe we will grab some of these half walls here and try and make some little planter boxes off to either side. They're so wide though, considering that this is on a diagonal, but like make a little, little built in planter boxes to make this look a little bit more, I don't know, prominent, established in its space, something along those lines. So let's just delete the floor out of those. Kind of want to try out the floor from Realm of Magic. See how that looks here. Since we're on a diagonal, we're gonna have to fiddle with this quite a bit, but I think it'll work out nicely. To get these corner tiles, I do control F and that brings you back and then control F again brings you to the corner tiles. But regardless if I use this tile or not, making this laid out like this will be helpful because then we can easily fix up whatever tiles we want in here. I think that looks pretty nice. Um, Which color though? Ooh, there's like a bluish toned one. That goes really nice with the blue we have going on. I think I might actually extend this out on the sides. So maybe we could have some dining space outside for your Sims that come in, uh, spend some time at this bakery. And then that keeps an area here that would look really nice with some extra landscaping. 
Maybe connect the sides to the sidewalk as well. Oh, I wish this this uh, street light wasn't there. That's gonna look great in the gallery thumbnail. Although I think it, yeah, I think this is technically the front of the lot, so we're good. Let's maybe get some shrubs out front in these little planters that we made. And then I wanna get some windows up top. I'm thinking maybe some shutters potentially. Let's try this. Mm, I don't think I'm feeling those. Ooh, these are blue. That might be a little bit too much blue though. Maybe we should break it up so that it's not all the same color. Maybe more of a white vibe up top. I feel like these could potentially work. I don't really know what color I want the top floor to be yet though, but they have a lot of really nice swatches and they feel like something I would see on the top level of a place that is a home and a business. So I'm gonna put these down for now. And we can play with the color of them a little bit later. I think maybe this looks better as a taller downstairs, even though the doll, the dolls, the, the walls are, I can't speak. Even though the windows and doors are shorter. I kind of like how that looks as a longer piece. Do I like having three windows like that? I don't think so. What if I use this window instead? I think that looks kind of pretty. Let me know if you prefer the rounded window or those more square windows. I feel like we definitely need some sort of sign above here. Maybe one of these I think could look nice, uh, but I definitely want an actual sign, which we got some with get together, get to work, and um, what's the other one? Dine out. Actually, I don't know if we got any with Get Together, but we got them with Get to Work and Dine Out. So let's see what we got. I mean, I wasn't looking for this, but we're definitely going to use this somewhere. So I'm just going to place that down. We're also probably going to want this. And of course, the actual bakery things, that, the refrigerators that will hold our various baked goods. Um, There we go. Dine Out has what we were looking for. This sign. Let's actually scale that up. We might have to remove these. Ooh, they could go on the sides though. That would look nice. I'm thinking this color will depend on what color we make the walls. But for right now, so we can see it, I think I'll do that. I think these are kind of cute, but I don't know. It kind of gets rid of the purpose of having the round top. Maybe more so these ones that came with base game could look a little bit better. Something like that, maybe? I think those look pretty good together. I think it's starting to look like a bakery. Ooh, I actually think this could look really nice on one side. Yeah, let me actually plop these things inside so they're not obstructing our view. I'll leave this outside for right now though, because I could see this place having a little sign outside, letting you know the deals going on right now, so maybe you'll stop in. Maybe I could even put these windows on either side of the rounded part. Maybe these could, no. If they came up to this height of the bar right here, instead of all the way up, I think it would look really nice. But since that doesn't match up and it just looks a little awkward, I don't think that's gonna work. But I really wish they came to this height right here. That would look so nice. Like straight across, a little arch, straight, oh well. Oh well, I tried. I actually think these ones are probably meant for this. But I kinda like the base game ones. I guess another pull. These ones? Oh, actually I'm starting to favor these already. But let me know what you guys think. Um, I kind of like, ooh, the black and white. That's kind of fun. Add some trim to these half walls. I think we need to get a roof going on on this place right now. I'm thinking just like a half wall roof, something like this. Then maybe we'll add another trim up there. I don't know if we want one just as thick though. I think maybe something thinner. Yeah, I think that looks a little silly. Maybe something like that though, or maybe nothing at all. Hmm. I do like how this is coming out so far though. Actually, if we do want a staircase outside still, I could probably still do that if it's out back because then it's not gonna be visible from the front of the shop and wouldn't be a distraction to customers. I think that could work. So we have this nice walkway all the way around. Maybe there could be a space out here that's 
like where the trash and stuff goes and maybe employees come through an entrance over that way. I could see that working. This world has a lot of palm trees and also just a lot of regular greenery. So I'm not really sure which type of greenery I want here. And the palm trees are the ones with the lights wrapped around them. So I feel like if I use palm trees, I might use those. They're in debug. Hmm. Let me see how the regular ones look to see if I even want to use palm trees first. Cause I don't want to waste the time looking for them and then not like not like them anyway. So maybe something like this, like framing the entrance. That's actually really pretty. Wow, okay. Okay, I see it. Might be nice to have another little plant over here just to balance it out a little bit. And I'm kind of thinking we might change these windows to black and white for now so that it matches the rest of the building. Looks like we're gonna go for like a black, white, and blue look, which I think could be kind of fun. Absolutely no idea what I want this place to look like though. So I want the upstairs to be more like this sort of feel, not that color, but paneling like this. Or do I want it to be more like brick or stone, which I think could look really nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is pretty. I think I like the stone on top. So we gotta figure out what to put on the bottom. I don't know, should I go for a white, a black, a blue? Um, it's like a white brick. It's kind of nice. I just used this in a build recently though, so I like to try and use different things. There's this blue. I mean, I kind of like it being blue, but I don't think it matches those windows well enough. Do we have any other blue things that look nice on the exterior? Mm, I don't think we have anything. I mean, there's this bright blue bit, but I think that looks a little bit too over the top. Something like this, if it was like all paneling up could look nice, but I don't know how I feel about it like that. It's kind of fun. I don't know. And then it brings in like the, the black and gray color scheme. Ooh, we can make this like bright blue like that. I feel like I want this color though. It's a little bit more of a white. So I think it stands out a little bit better. Now I'm not so sure about the brick color on top. I like the texture of these, but maybe we'll try like the gray one instead. I think I like that. I mean, <laughs> I'm making the place all blend in a little bit too much, I think. Maybe now we need the blue tops of these. I'm not sure. Or maybe the top needs to be a different texture brick, more of a white brick, so that it doesn't blend in with the bottom so much. Like something like this, perhaps? Mm, either like a white or like a black. I think the white is a little bit more cheerful and happy. So we could try that. What do the blue windows look like on here? I feel like that's maybe a little too matchy-matchy, but at the same time, it's kind of cute because then the whole building matches. It's just upstairs is like an apartment. I kind of like that. I'm gonna keep it for now. I think I might get some greenery growing up this wall. Maybe size it up so it's really growing up that wall. I think that's quite pretty. I think we need some flower boxes as well. Do I want the blue ones or do I want them in white? I think I like the blue because I don't think it's that different having the white ones. So I think it's worth it to have the matching blue flower boxes. Still very matchy, but I think I like it. Kind of feel like I want something over these windows. I don't know what, I'm not sure this works, but maybe by doing this, you guys can get an idea of what I'm going for. It just needs a little bit more interest up there, I think. And that adds something. It's definitely interesting. I think I need some columns on the ends to just add a little bit more structure. And these blue ones from Discover University actually work really well. So let's try that. I kind of like that. Actually, would I be able to get some sort of like roof space right here? I don't know if that would look good or not, but I'm gonna try it. That could look kind of nice, I think. Let's get a diagonal roof piece and place it right here. Should it be round to kind of mimic the other roof pieces we have up here and down here? Maybe. I mean, it's not that round, but it's kind of cute. I would want to move these flower boxes up though. I think I like that. Let's see what kind of roof colors we have. Something like that could be really cute. Kind of like cartoony vibe there. So do I want blue or do I want white? I think the white might look a little bit better because the blue is definitely not the same shade. I don't know if I like this overhang or if it's curved enough or if it shouldn't be curved. 
but it's definitely something. <laughs> I think I like it. Should I add some spandrels? Hmm. If I do, I don't think it would be that one. That doesn't quite match, but it's kind of nice. Maybe something a little bit more fancy from Realm of Magic could look nice. Uh, in order to do that though, I'm gonna have to build a wall here. That's kind of pretty. Yeah, I think this is starting to look like a bakery. I might actually extend this pathway like all the way like this so that it has more space that's not for landscaping because this is more of a shopping area. So I imagine most of this wouldn't be grass. So I'm gonna actually extend that here all the way back. There we go. Now we just have a couple of green spaces that would work nice for some greenery. Um, do I want more palm trees than that? Do I still like the palm trees? Would I prefer these palm trees? Those really don't look like they're in the right space, but they're so pretty. I don't know. Do you guys feel like these ones only fit in Sulani or could we get away with it here? I'm not that short, <laughs> maybe like this. Can we get away with that palm tree? Cause I also kind of like that one so much better. Oh, the Sulani palm trees are just stunning. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to put those for now and you guys can let me know what we think of them. I kind of want to put a big tree somewhere as well, but there's only a couple spots it could go. It could go over here. If we rotate it out so it's leaning away from the building, maybe it won't clip in. Oh, it's still clipping in. Um, I want it to lean away. Oh, it's still clipping in. No. All right. Let's put it as far away into this corner as I can. It's on the sidewalk. That's not good. And then when it's not, it's clipping in. There's got to be a perfect position for this right here where it's not clipping into the building. That might be it. I think that's I think that's where that's got to go if I want a big tree like that, which is kind of fun. And then maybe one other tree over here. So we have plenty going on, plenty of greenery, and then I'll have some more just other landscaping around. I think we're just focusing on the outside in this part and then I'll get your feedback and then we'll work on the inside. I think that's what we're doing, but we'll see how far we get here. I think we'll get some tables out here and now I'm starting to think that this should be extended like this. So that way there is even more space for tables. So we can have like two over here. Yeah, I think that's what I wanna do. So let's extend it over here as well. Perfect. We can have two tables on either side, which I think looks quite nice. It matches pretty well as well. There are, I, I don't know, should I have the off blue umbrella and the brown table or the all white table with the white umbrella? I kind of like both. The white ones stand out a little bit more, but I think these ones might look a little bit more realistic. The other ones would get so dirty so quick. So I think for right now, I'm gonna go with those ones, but we could always change them. I like that this build has a little bit of symmetry, but not a ton. And by not a ton is, I mean, it, it's mostly symmetrical, but like the trees on either side are not the same trees. I like when there's a little bit of symmetry like this, but it's off put a little bit. It's not perfect symmetry, if that makes sense. Um, because if this is perfectly symmetrical, like the exact same tree in the same spot, every single thing was symmetrical, I don't think I'd like it. So having like the vines up this side, but not this side, having the asymmetri asymmetry, asymmetrical plants here, uh, I quite like that. But I feel like a building like this, it makes sense for it to be symmetrical. So that works out. I might actually put a bump out on the side or on the back to add a little bit more shape to these sides. And then that would give us extra space for maybe a back kitchen area. I don't know if I want it to be on the top and the bottom or just the bottom. Because this is already a pretty big space for a Sims family. But maybe on that side it'll just be like that. And then over here we can have a little bump out on both sides. Or on both floors. Let's extend this out so it's all one continuous space. Perfect. I think on the top floor I will just have more of the half wall on this side. But I think maybe the other piece will be roofing. We could try that. Maybe a roof like this on this side could work. Let's round that out a bit. All right, maybe something like that. We'll use the same roof texture that we have in the front. I think for now that works. Maybe even drag that out a little bit. I think this looks cool. And this would be a perfect space for your Sims to like go in. Even 
This doesn't even have to be a kitchen. This could be the place you enter to get to the private staircase to get upstairs to the apartment. That could be the apartment entrance. Let's just put some chairs at these tables. Some can have two, some can have three. It doesn't need to be any specific order, or maybe even four. Once again, not entirely sold on the color of the tables and chairs, but I think for right now, it's fine. Add a little bit of greenery under these trees for the moment. Just getting started on a little bit more of the landscaping. If I want this to be the staircase to upstairs, I just realized this needs to be on both floors. I don't know what I was thinking. So I'm gonna extend that up, unless I want this section to be that area. Cause then it can be a doorway directly into Maybe not that door, but that kind of idea. Can I fit a staircase directly in that space? Because that would be perfect. And it's a little bit too small, but I can extend that outward. Let's try that. Now, when you first walk in, there is a staircase. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. We have this extra space downstairs and that brings you into the upstairs area. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm gonna see if I can add a couple more of these windows over on this side. It's fairly symmetrical, but I think I'm okay with that. Maybe some of these downstairs as well, because I think this is gonna be like the kitchen space. Have a couple of windows over there. So we got the staircase, we got a couple of items we know we're gonna use somewhere in here. The outside's coming together pretty well. I do wanna line this area, the greenery versus the brickwork with something. Maybe some of those items from Debug. I'm not sure yet. I'll play around with that later, but let's get a little bit of terrain paint on here so it doesn't look so fake. I'm gonna grab a couple more of these planter boxes to put around on the other windows. Yeah, I really wanna swap out this door. I wanna figure out what door we're gonna use. Do we have a two height door, like a second wall height door? It's one tile. I don't think we do, which is very unfortunate. So we're gonna have to use a shorter door, but we could probably put some sort of awning over it to make it look less short. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, probably like this door. Oh yeah, it's got the little mailbox. That's perfect. Actually, before I forget, I wanna section this off so I remember this is how you get into the apartment. Separate area. I guess I could have a door right here that's heading into the bakery as well. So the person that lives here doesn't have to go outside to get to their apartment, but maybe it's like a locked secret door. That's not secret, but it'll be locked space so that nobody can just walk in. This could be a good bathroom spot, I think. Public restroom. Um, I don't know if the, the restrooms we got with Discovery University would fit in there, though. I feel like I always just think of the... Uh, just making your own bathrooms, not using the ones that come with that pack. Uh, but we'll see, I can always adjust that. And that might not even be where the bathrooms go, but I feel like that could be a good space. It's just tucked off in the corner there. I'm gonna get a little bit of lights in here. It's a little bit dark, just a tad. I'm just gonna throw these around. We can replace them in better situations later, better places. Uh, I just throw them around so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. This is such a big space. We can have a full on family up here. If you guys have any ideas on what we should do up here, if it should be a family apartment, one sim apartment, if it should be not an apartment, something else, if you have any ideas, totally open to that. But I'm thinking an apartment, definitely an apartment. But maybe the person that lives here has other special interests outside of their, their bakery. Or maybe parents own this bakery and their kids are really into something and we can really deck out some kids rooms. This is a pretty big space though, so I think we could do a lot with that. I'm debating on if the outside needs more greenery than I gave it. I don't know if this one side is enough, because it's kind of a nice accent piece, but it might be nice to have more, but you guys can let me know that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. We got pretty far. I don't know how long this video is, so if it's too short or too long, let me know down below because I haven't edited it down yet. I've just recorded it, um, but I can make sure to adjust for next part. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to your feedback on what we've gotten so far, but I'm really excited about how this is coming out. So thank you guys for all the support on uh, doing a let's build. I'm having a lot of fun with it and I will see you guys next time. Bye everybody.